Hi everyone and welcome to the TCL programming course for beginners. The course will consist of short videos from simple and scratch level up to expert level. The videos will be as simple as possible and as short as possible considering that the audience have no previous experience with programming. And the requirements to go on with this course is to have the interactive TCL tutor. It's very easy to download and install in your computer. So to get it, if you go to this website, TCL Tutor, and you scroll down to choose the version is suitable for your operating system. So here they have different versions for Mac, Linux, or Windows. So if you are using Windows, you get it and you install it. It's very easy and simple to install. And also it's very easy and simple to use. So during the course, here will be the lesson, the information written by the people who designed this interactive tutor. So you feel free to read it. Here is the code in which in this place you will write your commands or codes. And here is the output. So before you start, you go and choose your level. So since our course is designed for beginners, you go to here and you choose beginner. Then you choose the lessons and go to lesson 0 to 9 and to choose introduction and now we are in simple text output. So our first comment in TCL is puts. Puts is a command to print messages to the console. In other words, it prints strings. And strings in programming means a sequence of letters or symbols. So if I want to print, to tell the computer to print hello world, so I write puts hello worlds between quotation mark, then semicolon to separate my comments from my codes, from my comment. So if you don't know what's comment in programming, in, co uh, in programming, if you comment something out, it will not be computed by computer. So after this uh, hashtag simple, whatever you write, the computer will ignore it. So this is a comment for me to remind myself, for example, or whatever. You write whatever, it's, the computer will ignore it. So the tricky part here is the semicolon. So let's first run what we, we have written here and see what will happen. So you see from the first line, the computer only printed out hello world. It didn't take this comment into consideration. But every time you use the puts command, you should follow it with the semicolon. Because if you delete it, and let's run and see what will happen, it will give you an error. Because now we are mixing the comments with the with the string. So always use a semicolon. Let's run again. Also, if you don't have a comment, let's delete it. You might not use the semicolon at all, and it will not give you an error. So let's run. Yeah, there is no error. But the safe method all the time is to use a semicolon after, after puts. Another importance of the semicolon, if you are using the puts comment twice in the same line, let's say puts hello words and puts here I am. And let's run it. So it will print hello world and here I am. But if you forget to put the semicolon, it will give you an error. So always the safe, the, the safest way is to follow your command with a semicolon in TCL. So hello world, here I am. Also the, the rest are I'm repeating, so I can delete this not to confuse you. And if you comment out, say this is a comment and let's run i get an error why because i forgot to include my semicolon and say run so hello world here i am so this is our first video and we'll continue with different commands and codes and thank you